Pink and Main. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be making a couple of quick cards with our Barely Weight stamp set and coordinating dies. This is the adorable little bear that's on the Barely Weight stamp set. It's a two by six stamp set and he's really cute and whimsical with his really long legs. Isn't that sweet? So we're going to make a couple of quick cards with him and I've got an A2 size side folding card base. So when folded, it's four and a quarter by five and a half. I have two layering pieces that have cut with our layered rectangle dies. So I've got a dark brown card stock and a piece of pattern paper from our pumpkin season paper pack. And it has some really fun fall themed papers, but some of them can also be used throughout the year. So I'm going to glue these down to the card base. I'm using the Pink and Main Easy Squeeze Craft Glue to assemble my cards. It's my favorite adhesive to use when I'm making cards. When I glue down a piece such as this, I have a few seconds to shimmy it into place so that I get the perfect placement each time. And after those few seconds, it's down for good. I'm gonna turn our card horizontally like this so it actually will flip up like that. We're going to use our big hugs dies along with the Barely Weight stamp set. So our big hugs dies comes with the shadow that I've done in this dark teal and the hugs that I've cut out in our glitter paper, some of our glitter paper. It fits perfectly across an A2 size card like that or this way. And I'm gonna have my little bear just behind the word hugs. It's gonna cover some of his legs. So let's have his feet sticking out down at the bottom. And then I've stamped and cut out the sentiment that I'm gonna add to the bottom here. It says, I can barely wait to hug you. So let's assemble this. Here's our card so far. I think that's super cute. It has a little bit of sparkle with that glitter paper cut out in the word hugs. And we also have glitter enamel dots that coordinate with the pumpkin season paper pad. So I'm gonna add a few of those just for a little extra sparkle and shine. And there's our finished card. I think that came out really sweet and super simple to put together. For our second card, it's also going to be super simple but super sweet. I have a dark brown piece of cardstock here that I've run through my die cut machine using our wood grain embossing folder. So it gives a really cool wood grain look. You can see it on the back or the front. You could use either side, whether the debossed or the embossed side. It doesn't matter, you're gonna get that nice wood grain look. So I've cut that just a quarter inch smaller than our A2 size card, and I'm gonna glue that down to the front. There we go. Our embossing folders have a really deep impression, and the wood grain one has such thin little lines and details for the wood grain that it can almost cut through your paper with too much pressure. So you wanna watch the pressure as you're going through your die cut machine and find just the right sandwich to use with the embossing folder. Another thing I suggest I found is that if I use a piece of paper that's larger than the embossing folder, so it sticks out the sides of the embossing folder as I run it through the machine, there's something about that paper sticking out the side that keeps it from sandwiching down too deeply and that helps me to keep it from cutting through my paper. And that's especially for the wood grain, just because it has such thin lines that are being embossed and they emboss so deeply. Next, I've stamped and cut out the sentiment, you're so very special to me. And I've cut a little pennant flag edge to the bottom of it. And I'm gonna stick it right up here on the top of the card. And I didn't wanna just stick my bear on the card because he just kind of looks like he's floating there. He doesn't have anything that's anchoring him to the card, nothing to sit on. 
So I cut out with our layered oval dies, I cut out an oval of vellum, but I cut one side of it down just a little bit because I like my shapes to kind of go off the side of the card. It just adds interest. So I'm gonna glue the bear to the vellum first and then we'll glue the vellum to the card. Now to finish off the card, I'm just gonna add a couple of those glitter enamel dots and I'm just gonna use the brown tones. And here we have another super sweet and super simple card using our barely weight stamp and dies. Thanks so much again for joining me today for some quick and simple but super cute cards using our barely weight stamps and coordinating dies. You can find these products at pinkandmain.com or ask your local retailer. And until next time, my friends, keep living the creative life.